In this video, we will continue with trigonometric graph sketching. You will find this on page 164 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The function fx equals a sin x plus b where a is bigger than 0 has a maximum value of 6. Maybe I can just underline that has a maximum value of 6 and a minimum value of negative 2. Find the value of A and B. Okay, so first start before we go on. Recall, a normal, if it's going from negative 1 to 1, so sin x, negative 1 to 1, since A is bigger than 0, has a maximum value when sin x is 1 and a minimum value when it's negative 1. Meaning, meaning. You just have to recall this. If you think of the graph, okay, okay, and then you just basically have to think of that it's going to be. Can I just draw that graph? Just get in. This is the sign. Okay, so the maximum, let's just make a better line. is 1, and the minimum is negative 1. Okay, so, so the minimum value, okay, so this is negative 1. The maximum value is A plus B, okay, equals 6. That's what they said there. The minimum value is negative A plus B is equal to negative 2. Solve the equations simultaneously. Okay. Um, I just want to take you back to this, this, this value here, this table here. Oh, there it was. Okay, we are with a sign one. So can you remember the maximum value is A plus, so A meaning the one in front of A plus the one, the constant. In this case, it's just now B. So A plus C and the minimum value is negative A plus C. It's, it's, it's referring to this table will help you. Okay, so let's just go back. Okay, so it's A plus B, but because this is now not called C, can you see it's called B. So A plus B is 6 and negative A plus B is negative 2. Solve it simultaneously and you get that B, get the pin, B is equal to 2, and then you substitute, and you get A is equal to 4, okay? And then you can just substitute. There is your equation. And then state the amplitude and y-intercept of the function. So the amplitude is A, and, and I can take you again back. <laughs> so uh, can you see? The amplitude is A. The y-intercept is, is C, but in this case it will just be B now. So that table will really help you. Go back. Okay. So uh, where am I? The amplitude is A, which in this case is 4, and the y-intercept is C, which in this case is going to be 2. And that's how you got the different values. Okay. I want you to stop the video. I want you to do try now 14 number 1. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Now it's just cos. So, um, I will just reflect back to that table. But cos and sin is more or less the same. Uh, maybe, just before I start, I could just go and see the difference. So, this is the same, A plus C. This is the same. This is the same. Uh, oh, oh, this was sin. Sorry, here is cos. So it's A plus C, this is the same, this is the same, this is the same, but now, now, it's just A plus C to find the y-intercept. Will you recall that? Okay, so let's just go back. Okay, so let's start with number one. The function, and I'm first going to write down the function. The function is fx equals a cos x plus b, where a is bigger than 0, has a, has a maximum value 
of 8 and a minimum value of negative 2. Find the values of A and B. Okay, so recall that, I'm just going to write it down to help you a little bit. Recall, if, if a graph is like this, cos x, okay, uh, since a is bigger than zero, if it has a maximum value, so this is the normal one, it's having a maximum value at just, just like that, maximum value at one and a minimum value at negative one. Okay, just remember, how is the cost graph looking? It's always, always good that you have the pictures in your mind. So let me, let me show you quickly the picture of the cost. So the cost one is just doing this. Oh, pin correct. That is going to be one. That is going to be negative. Okay. Okay, so now find the values of A and B. So the maximum value, just like the previous one, is A plus B, and they said the maximum value is 8. And the minimum value, and now it's going to be negative A plus B, and that will be negative 2. Again, just name your equations. This is 1, this is 2. So solve, solve 1 and 2 simultaneously. Okay, so now you're going to solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. So let's just do that. So that's actually going to be easy. So it's A plus B is 8. That was 1. And negative A, oh, it's so nice, it already cancel out. So this can, so it's 2B equals 6. So if I divide by 2, so therefore B is equal to 3. That's my first one, okay? And then I substitute B equals 3, say, in equation 1. Okay, so that's going to be then A plus 3 equals 8. So therefore, A is equal to 5. Now, if I go back, let you just go back, uh, I can actually use this one. I can already put this, and I can say, oh, let's just put this up a little bit. So therefore, let's just, boom, oh, not too high, a bit lower. Therefore, move this away. Um, let's just, I'm, I'm focusing here. So if x is equal, and in the place of a, I put 5, cause x, and in the place of b, I put 3. So that is now the function. Okay. And now the second question, um, solve the, um, state the amplitude and the y-intercept. Now the amplitude is the value of A. So the, therefore the amplitude, move it a little bit up, B, amplitude equals 8. So therefore the amplitude is equal to Five. Okay, and then the y-intercept, and don't forget, I, sh I will even show it to you again, that you see from where I get that. Can you see with the cos? So it's going to be A plus C. But now in this case it's A plus B, because C is the one, um, so the normal one over there. C was the one standing on its own. Okay, so let's just go back and finish it off. So the y-intercept is going to be a plus c, in this case a plus b, okay, and that is going to be 5 plus 3, and that is going to be 8. So the y-intercept will be 8, and that's how you do it.